In this lecture, we will see how we can model the door. So for modeling the door, first of all, you need to select it. And after that, you have to select the door, whatever you want to model the door as per your project requirement. So first of all, I will click on this entrance door. And after that, I will simply click here. So I will simply enter control T if I need to make some changes in the door. Here you can see that right now the door is selected as hinge door 24. Okay, that is fine. And here we have these uh, things available. And after that, let's say I uh, right now the you can see the width is 700. That is fine. After that, I will just simply click on OK. So what I will do here is that if I want to model, you can see the sunlight is uh, changing as I'm taking my mouse cursor to this side. So this shows that the sun is uh, ambient line is outside and it is uh, getting from uh, the outside to inside. So you need to be very careful with this. Okay. And after that, if you look here at the anchor point, you can see the anchor point is selected as the center. So what I will do is I will change this to left side. And now if you look at the anchor point, it is going to this side to select this one and take your mouse cursor. Now it is going to this side. So I will stick with this one that is on the left side. And after that, I will just simply click here. And after clicking on that one, you will see that the sun is outside. It means that sun is here. Now it will ask you now Archicad will ask you that in which direction the door is going to open. So as you can see here that I'm just sliding my mouse and you can see it is giving me these four option here. Okay. So what I will do is I will just simply go and select here. So we have successfully modeled our door in this region here as well. So you can look at that door in 3D as well. So you can see that this is the door that we have modeled. You can see that. Okay. So in this way, also you can model the door in the 2D view as well. Uh, sorry, 3D view as well. So, but right now I will stick to this uh, ground floor. So now let's say you want to add a door here. You can just uh, simply need to go ahead and simply do a click here. So let's place the door here. Okay. Now let's simply click on this edge here. Just like that. Let's zoom in a little bit and simply click here. Okay. So now you can see that we have successfully created the door and now you have to choose the opening. So I will choose this side. So as you can see here that we have successfully model our uh, door on this side and on this side. Now let's go ahead and model the door in this region here. Okay. So for that, what I will do is I will go here in this door drop down button. I'm going to choose this double entrance door. Let's click on that. And after that, what you have to do is after double clicking on that one, you just simply need to take your mouse cursor just like that and make sure that everything is correct. But let's choose this side and snap to here. Okay. So here you have to decide in which direction it is going to open. So I will simply go and click here. So as you can see here that we have successfully modeled the double door here as well. So you can all look that one in 3D view as well. So let's go to this side here. Shift and middle mouse scroll to rotate this. You can see that we have modeled uh, this side. So in this way, you have to model the doors here. As you can see here that we have created a door. So this is the end of this part. Okay. In this lecture, we will continue adding our doors. So first of all, let's go to door tool. And after that, with drop down, let's double click on the internal door. And let's set the door here in this region. Okay. So let's simply do a click here. And after that, let's choose the direction. Let's set it like this. Okay. And now after that, what you have to do is you have to model the door in this region here as well. So this time I will go and set this to this center point. Okay. Now after that, I will just simply set uh, it like this. Sorry on this one. 
let's click here and click here okay let's like this after that we are going to model the tool here in this region so i will click here select it like this okay now we have to model the door in this side so just simply go and choose this side also after that let me go here okay let's change this side to this one let's take your mouse cursor and click here okay now let's set the where it it is gonna open so this is gonna open on this side now that we are done with this modeling of wall and uh, sorry modeling of the doors on this side we will model the door here as well so let's keep it like this one and let's select it like this okay so now you can see that we have successfully modeled the doors on this side as well so right now you can see that we have just completed modeling all the doors so now let's look at the 3d view Okay, you can see that it has been updated here. So you can see the doors in the 3D view. So in this way, you have to model the door. I have just chosen the basic door, but as per your project requirement, you may require the uh, another kind of door that you can model here. So also, I, I would like to show you something is that you can model the door in the 3D view as well. As you can see here, I'm just taking my mouse cursor and I can model the doing that 3d view as well so in this way you have to model the doors and this is the end of this lecture in this lecture we are going to see how we can model the windows so for that what you have to do is you have to just go to this button here okay this one that is window tool let's click on the, this one and after that from this uh, drop down button you can have uh, these options available so you just simply need to double click on that one and after that you just simply need to decide exactly the places and you can see the option is almost similar to what we are getting at the doors so right now i've selected this point and after that you can just take your let me click on this one after that you can take your mouse cursor to this region here and let's say you want to move with this window okay let's go to arrow mode okay let's go here back let's model it like this okay and after that let's simply click you have to decide in which direction it is going to open so i will just simply click on that one so now that uh, we have modeled this window here i will go and go to arrow mode and after that i will select i will select this window here okay and now i can move with this window in this direction let's say i want to make uh move this window in this direction by let's say of 50 mm so uh i can uh, i just simply need to press ctrl d and after that i'll just simply select and drag it like this so, and uh, from here i can set the distance let's set the distance at 100 mm as hit enter so in this way you can uh, move the windows uh, just like that uh, in the in the case of doors also you can move these things around as per your requirement after that what i will do is i will model i will again go to this uh, window tool here i'm again going to select this window i'm going to let's select the window from here let click on this generic window now you have to first of all you need to press escape to get out of this command and now you have that option of modeling the Windows. So what I will do is this time I'm going to change this to this one and I'm going to snap it somewhere here. Let's click on this one. So as you can see that we have modeled the window and it is going to open on this side. Okay. Now you can see that one in 3d view as well. You can see that this is the window that we have modeled as you can see here. Now let's go back. I prefer to work in the 2d view. Okay. For the accuracy. Now let's go back here and in this region what we are going to do here is that we will again add this window just like this or you, we can go with this center option okay on this side okay so we have model this two here so also we what we can do here is that we can also model the double sliding window so for that just simply click on that one 
and from here you can go with this uh, sliding window let's simply double click on that one and after that you just simply need to place it so this time i'm going to select this region here let's snap to this one just like that and I'm, it is going to open on this side okay that is fine and like that you can just select and move this one as per your requirement so again here i'm going to model this window as well so what i will do is i will just simply click here and it is going to open on this side okay so now that we have modeled these uh, windows we can have a look at the 3d view as well you can see how good this one is looking at uh, in the 3d view okay so now let's go back to the 2d view so here now that we are done with this part here we can also model the window on this side as well so for this reason i'm going to choose the different window with this option here so i can go with this fix three um, pan window so i will just simply click on that one simply double click on that one and after that you just need to just change it to this and we are going to set it to this one here okay and now you have to set the in which direction it is going to open so it is going to open on this side if you want to move this wall let me go back to this arrow option let's press escape few times now let's select let's select this wall and if you want to move this one i have already told you that you can just simply enter on control d and you can just simply put this and you can drag as per your dimension by putting the dimension as or as per your requirement okay so now that we are done with this part let's look at the 3d view here so let's rotate it like this and this is what we have modeled till now you can see how good this one is looking okay you can see that so in this way you have to deal with the windows and this is the end of this lecture so if you want to go back to uh, 2d view you can just simply press f2 and so as you can see here that i have made some changes in the project as you can see here the changes are very less as you can see here in 2d and if you look at the 3d uh, you can see that i have just installed a this ventilator window okay as you can see the property of that one here as well okay window 24 so i have just decreased the thickness uh sorry uh width and all these things you can do that one just by selecting it and dragging it just like that and here in the pad palette you can have uh, these options available as you can see here that you can stretch this one so what I've done is if you're going to stretch this one, it is going to uh, go on straight. If you are going to just simply click on that one and you can just with the help of pet palette, you can let me undo that. Okay. So this is what exactly you can do with the help of uh, these stretching and all these tools. I have selected this one again. I have selected this one and I'm getting these options. As you can see, I can move this one. I can just move this one up in the upper side and if I click on this edge okay you will if I click on this edge you will see that you have uh, these options available again you, if you click on that one again you will get that option so what I'm trying to say is that uh, you can uh, stretch this one in the upper direction you can stretch this one in the lower direction as you can see here that okay so in this way i have created these windows here so let me take you look at this side okay so this is common this is two sliding windows here we have door here i have placed a uh, three sliding windows and you can see here that one as well okay so you can see all the properties and all this thing here so the changes are very minor okay as you can see here they are not that great and i have placed uh window here if you don't want to place uh, that one that's okay okay so these are some of the little changes that i have made in the project as i have to told you to make these kind of um, changes in your project so i did that okay 
it is not the big deal so from onward lecture we are going to deal with this model okay